Uh, I just saw this beautiful, beautiful <laughs> story. Uh, such a romantic story on the internet right now. And I came to the idea that I should just go and slit my eyes. What do you think about that? <laughs> uh, it's about this story here. It's so cute. It, it's I didn't clean click the link on one yet but this is this is about the rom romantic love story between prince philip uh and queen elizabeth and it's really really so romantic that i was thinking about because i don't think there is enough time dedicated to these people very very very, very special people uh i came with the idea that you know i said to myself sebastian Bob, Robert, why don't you go, Bustian, why don't you go and dedicate, uh, slit your eyes, story, to the greatest race ever. I just connected to the internet, and it's kind of slow for the issues I'm going to explain later on. I'll give you a whole background about what they have done to me already with a new hard drive that was sold to me about a month ago. <laughs> Prince Philip slit eyes Yeah, this is the real story about the infamous sleety eyed. He was he was so by the way he was not only romantic he was just so humorous. He was just so, uh, the man was just so, you know, this is actually the video for everybody on the globe that you see, because I'm really taking pride in it, and it's dedicated to the greatest race ever. In famous slitty eyed remark during, thanks God, I was not in the United States of America yet. I immigrated to the U.S. Know this, please. In 1995, January 1995, during the visit to a China, he did made a little like a little funny, funny, funny story, uh, like a funny, funny little remark. I suppose it is applied uh, to Chinese, but I wouldn't say only to Chinese. I would say it applied to. Uh, Asians on general and basically this is the video that Angela Merkel all the so-called Western leaders you know guys this is not leadership this is a terrorism I have to abruptly stop you here this is not a leadership you don't have any kind of initiative you behave like a wild dogs on the loose it's not a leadership, it's a terrorism. And it was a funny, funny thing. It was a really, really funny, funny, funny thing because there were some articles then that appeared and it was something that Prince Philip personally took great, great pride in it, man. It was like funny. I remember the picture with a Prince Philip. It was like really, really, really funny 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 stuff uh depicting him and that's how he wanted the british royals alone inside it in this joke in this remark and how i should see that you know to to be part of them that they are they in fact they are actually siding with me it's got really nothing to do with me what's got to do with me is this video which is dedicated to the greatest race ever on the planet Earth, not to the aliens, but to the greatest race on Earth. Got nothing to do with me. Yeah, it's actually one picture that they used that was really 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 funny one and so you know guys what i want to say to you is this the chinese the asian 
is in every one of us. I am Chinese, I am Asian. Chinese properly estimated as per where exactly do I belong on a racial map. And I'm afraid so 80% of those that consider themselves as white, part of the greatest race ever, belong in it to that other greatest race ever. To the true. That's how. And I am located right here, near. I'm located right here. That was considered as a part of Eastern Europe. Um, this is a part of the Eastern Europe. And regretfully, I have to say so, not only ethnically and racially wise, uh, but also mentality, I'm going to say, uh, considering what I got when compared to the German Aryans, such as Elon Musk from South Africa, is what absolutely, I'm going to say definitely, makes me feel that the next door to me, right here, this, this border here, that is distance from the city of the Novo Mesto, maybe, I don't know if it's 200 kilometers, I don't think it is, maybe a hundred kilometers even. This German little speaking country, Austria here, extended part of Germany is basically what separates, in my eyes, in my view, China, or I should say Asia, Japan, with a so-called Aryan race. I think that you understand what I mean under my case when I cynically have to point out Saxe Kaburga Gotha testimony for the sake of the Berlin through the Washington DC against me. I think that 30 years of genocide explains that these people were in it only for one thing. And that's for the terrorism in a war against humanity, with which they hope they're going to guide us to the self-destruction. There is a neo-Nazi bastard fascist hater inside of the Russia right now that craves for the imperial throne, for the chair that Russians have condemned due to blood-sucking Romanov. A cousins from the Saxe Kaburga, Gotha people to death over a century ago to break free from the chain from the vampire vampiristic blood-sucking procedures which these people have implemented on the people of Russia and all others that were included in this greater so-called Russian Empire you know the truth about all this is that I'm not the only one that feels that, or I should say that should feel closer, even that I'm here right on the doorsteps of Austria and even this country here that was for a thousand years part of Austro-Hungarian Empire. And this is what this video is for. This video is dedicated to the greatest race ever. It should be most of you guys indefinitely and it's also, I noticed on the internet, the comparison, how they labeled Japan, you know, the people of Japan. The great people of Japan. They label them, like, on the internet, like, uh, the aging population of Korea and of Japan, you know. It's like, basically, they're sitting in there, and they're doing nothing, basically. In other words, they're growing small. The population is aging, and it's growing no fucking nowhere. Yeah, like Russia is doing something, you know, we're doing something in respect to Africa and so on. You know, why don't you do something? They're doing. Japanese are doing. They're doing their best for other people because they know that karma 
is more than just what Americans see as a bitch. And I don't like to use this American, but it's a really pathetic approach that people in the U.S. have chosen to take in respect to my case. But today I'm glad because before I go from this world, before I depart, I'm the one who's going to give you people, humanity, your identity back. Even throughout and during the crisis like we face in Ukraine and plenty of crime against me here in Slovenia. Listen to me very good. Japan is not such a small country. You're making a big mistake. People crossed Bering Channel. There is nothing written about this stuff here. Oh, sorry. South Africa too, yes, indeed. They didn't cross only to South America, you know? The people crossed through this channel here from the Asia that connects Alaska, and it goes through United States all the way down all the way through Mexico, all the way down to Chile, to Argentina. We're going to wait for this thing to load. You see? It's called Bering Sea right here. I did this video, by the way, in somewhat already in Spanish language. So I want to do this in English language for, for also the Asians and others to understand this. But 30,000 years ago, so for me, it's important for the people of Ecuador, of Peru, of Brazil, South America, Argentina, and Chile, Venezuela, and Mexico, and Central America, Honduras, and all these people to understand and price their real origins as for what those really are. Because people of Japan, people of Japan are Asian people, but these people of Japan somehow probably right here from this part or something like this this is somehow connected to this land here and it was this unique beautiful japanese ethnicity that that grew up from it uh this is what you people are over there in south america you should be you should be really really proud because you're part of the one of the greatest if not the greatest culture on earth this is a very, very, very old civilization, you know. In the Europe, we were climbing the trees. We were monkeys when compared to China. We literally were monkeys on the trees. I am going to refer you to a Marco Polo, a famous explorer who brought spaghetti I should say more than spaghetti from China. You know, this explorer brought from China more, much, much, much more. He brought from China. All right, we were like a semi monkeys here. He brought from China a money in a form of banknotes. China was, God knows, just how much more prosperous than Europe till the British boats settled along and offered people as a solution, a trade through opium. It pulled one back into a stone age by doing that kind of stuff. That's basically how they thank Chinese for their welcome. Look, if you're from Peru, if you're from Chile, 
and you're from Brazil, and you can see here, and it's something I deeply, deeply disagree with, because it's a genocide against the, the native uh, or uh, people here in these are these are semi Chinese I should say Asian people that you see here it's a genocide it's a genocide against something really really beautiful I don't know I find Asian women in particular appealing this is in down in Brazil whether that be Japanese or Asian in general there's just something that just pulls me inside and I don't think that many of you, most of you are any different, really. And it's also the place where you're welcome, where you are not thrown out. In fact, what I like about these people is they welcome everybody. And it's really, really, really interesting. All through very, very mad British realized that this Asian culture was somehow, if you look at the aborigines here in Australia and Indonesians, it is somehow through the India, you see, because this used to be uh, one continent before, connected eventually to the Africa. It's interesting how it's not only about, you know, Genghis Khan, uh, who crossed from so-called Mongolia, yeah, well, Greater China, if you like, all the way to uh, Ukraine, all the way. Hungarians, for instance, have this Asian uh, gen uh, genesis, <laughs> genetics in them. This Hungarians are greatly intermixed, though, with European so-called DNA. And then you have another one here that you have, for instance, a Finland here and Estonia, the same thing. And this fascist here, this neo-Nazi bastard, thirsty for the throne, has in plan one thing only, and that's to basically murder Asian people in Mongada. Should be destroyed by humanity with everything what humanity has in it should be wiped up from the face of the earth with those that support this kind of crime against humanity, which is taking place right now against people of Ukraine and as simultaneously against the Russian people with the Asian origin. Anyhow, slit the eye. I am just going to say to you like this. I got a really, really beautiful, beautiful um, background on a laptop. Because all my life I was looking at other things, at other possibilities, had uh, grown completely different views about everything, just as I was brainwashed basically to see things. I had this beautiful. This gorgeous background I keep now uh, on my desktop. And you can see that black people also at large carry this kind of DNA. This is, in fact, the greatest race ever. This is the planet Earth. This one here. It also promotes... I'm not going to say tolerance but survival on this planet they don't have a problem they didn't have a problem japanese when they came to jamaica when jamaicans demanded from them money for the coffee and so on and so forth they thought jamaicans believed that they deal when they saw the japanese they deal with a slate eye lit people but it wasn't like this. The Japanese paid more for the contracts than what the Jamaicans demanded. The Japanese went ahead and made sure they paid for the contract. I think that time, I, I don't know how much it was, but it was like in a ratio from 
that was like one to three, something like this. They paid them three times more, if not even more. What they did was they took them on a side. They took them on a tour to Japan. They sit at them. They explained them how things are. And then what they did was they went ahead and they increased that quota into something really fantastic. Probably that was more than three times. Talking about one to three times after they educate them what they should ask, the Japanese alone increased that to three times. That's how it was with that deal with the coffee with between Japan and Jamaica. Built schools next to the agreement they have made. And, you know, Americans interpret it and in say about Americans. You know, I'm talking about, talking about this sleet eyelid race, a special kind. Talk about evil Chinese that are heading to Africa and so on. You know, the Africa is Chinese. That's a China. And when you're talking about South America and when you're talking about Central America and Northern America, such as Mexico, that's Chinese. That's actually Asian. What they mean, they don't mean Chinese, but they mean, what they mean to say is basically Asian. It's Asian, Asian, Asian carp, Asian this, Asian that, Asian, Asian, Asian. Row, row, row. That's why I decided they had enough of this neo-Nazi fascism. I'm going to record the video and give you humanity the identity, which is the true. It's the ultimate truth. This, gen this genetic you can find all over the African continent. You can find it all over the South American continent even. Not only throughout the Asia, throughout the entire Russia, all the way down to Ukraine and Finland. And in Hungary, here next door, you can find one, or Turkey, or wherever. You can find one all over the world, because this is, this is the race, race that populated this world. Not to destroy one, but to prosper, hold one together. So my message to the quite impoverished South Americans that wonder what we are, you know, because everywhere they took me, this sleet eyelid special kind of race demanded from me to be as evil as possible, to humiliate as much as possible so they could score and agreements as productive as possible. What I want to say to you is, I want to say to you, that you need to be proud about yourself. You need to open your doors to the Asia, to your own people, to your own DNA, which you have nothing other than to be proud about. Reject that I sleep special kind of race and celebrate your life instead. You know, we can go, it doesn't matter where. They wiped, they wiped tremendously. They tremendously, tremendously wiped this beautiful DNA. Uh, really have specialized themselves uh, in causing as much harm as possible to the native Mexicans, to the native, you see the you see the Chinese girl right there in Mexico. Japanese, Japanese, because the Japanese are not pure, pure, pure Asians. The Japanese you're gonna find in let's say Kazakhstan. It's like a little mixture in between. It's exactly what you see right there. And because I want to give you a good identity, I want to give you something to celebrate, something to be proud about, something to connect yourself with. So you can build, rather than being exploited through the Vatican, through the European Union, through the United States of America, what is prosperity, the future for entire humanity, that's why. It doesn't matter where you go, you have something beautiful to celebrate, and it doesn't really matter. I've seen this in Ecuador, where my ex-wife was from. I've seen this in other countries and, and people desperate to be recognized, to be seen as acceptable. You're more than acceptable. Your ancestry is great. 
your ancestry of the is of the greatest race on earth of a very 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 special race which probably 95 percent of the population on this world belongs to That's all I wanted to say for this video. I ain't got nothing else to say. Uh, I hope that you people find a way together. And I hope that you people condemn this at large with absolutely everything you have. And I have to tell you that Ukrainian people are very much oriented toward human prosperity. And they got fucked. They got most severely punished for their views on world which were greatly misinterpreted through this sleed i lead especially kind of family that would send me to ukraine on espionage for the sake of vladimir putin i'm asking people in south america to act rational, to open doors to their own DNA so that humanity can work together for a better tomorrow rather than toward self-destruction through the acts of the terrorism to which we especially witness again during the last 30 years. That's basically 80 years now after the World War II is what we see is taking place against country with a 45 million people no less and in fact it's taking place throughout entire russia it's a, a real fascism a real nazism that russia alone should condemn and sent vladimir putin to death russia mother russia alone should take care the problem of vladimir putin you know vladimir putin is a russian problem there is no russian including in vladimir putin that wouldn't have an asian dna this man right there this this man is a problem this man is a big problem this kind of politic is a tremendous problem and something needs to be done and the one the right one to do this thanks for watching this video Till next time